Hey everybody, this is my warning for people coming to the Philippines on a small budget. And I consider a small budget 1,000 USD or less. Now I do agree that you can live in the Philippines and Dumaguete on a budget of 1,000 USD per month. Thing is you have to prepare for that. And preparing for that includes having startup money. You gotta have startup money. When, when you fly in, you're allowed to bring up to 10,000 USD. And you should bring six, seven, eight, whatever you can afford to bring. You're gonna use that to purchase a motorcycle. When you get your apartment or your house to rent, you're gonna have to pay the first month's rent, a couple months security deposit. Once you're in the house, you may wanna change the mattress out. You may wanna change the pillows out. Anything you want to purchase that wouldn't be a monthly occurrence. The second thing you need is an emergency fund. Now I'm going to recommend 10,000 USD as your emergency fund in a U.S. bank that you have access to uh, pretty easy. You're going to use that for any kind of emergency in case you have to go to the hospital, if you break an arm, um, you get an accident. You have to leave the island. Uh, you know, you got to get out of Dodge pretty quick. Uh, you got to fly back home to the U.S. The emergency fund is is just for what it's what it says, just for emergencies. Have it in your back pocket so you can use it when you need it, and it's always there when you need it. Today you're healthy, but you never know what the future brings. Who knows what's going to happen next week, next month, next year, ten years from now. So have an emergency fund. The last part of this is the exchange rate. The exchange rate right now is 57 to one, which is, which is really good. Um, when I came here in February, it was 51 to one, and a year ago it was 49 to one. So I want you to keep an eye on the exchange rate. It's been going up, but things that go up do come down. You don't wanna get caught off guard with an exchange rate that comes down and you're unaware of it. Keep an eye on it, adjust your budget accordingly and your spending accordingly if it comes down. If it keeps going up, save that money or, or spend it, that's up to you, that's your lifestyle. But have your startup money when you get here, have an emergency fund and keep an eye on the exchange rate. And I'm sure you're gonna have an enjoyable uh, vacation retirement life here in the Philippines. So that's just my take. Thanks for watching. Until next time.